When I first got into this space, it was because there was no transparency and you don't own the money in your bank account and you don't own the securities you think you own. And when you saw Lehman, you saw that there's a few collateral assets and there's all this leverage and it's a big game of musical chairs for who gets a slice of the collateral, right? Nobody owns anything. Blockchain changes that because it's provable who owns it. You can give permission to rehypothecate them or you cannot, right? So this it's a game changer for that. But even in terms of trading, it gives you a whole new set of stuff you didn't have before. Genuine Vision Chief Raul Buddy has the best clarification for what's as of now occurring with Bitcoin and crypto resource costs as per the prestigious full-scale tactician and previous Goldman Sachs leader, the new value developments of Bitcoin and other crypto resources are normal as of now of the cycle. This cycle is as of now phenomenal thinking about how far costs have come only a couple of months into the cycle. This is whenever Bitcoin first has made new highs before the herring cycle. And regardless of late cost developments, the main crypto resource is still up by 134% in the previous year. And around 60% year to date, we've overcome much so quick on account of the energizing progress of Darkstone's IBIT and other spot Bitcoin ETFs. During a new meeting with Howard Linson, Buddy examines his point of view toward Bitcoin and other digital currencies as we approach the eagerly awaited 2024H occasion. The genuine vision pioneer and president predicts what he alludes to as the banana zone, the period of each crypto positively trending market where costs go totally off the deep end as per Buddy this much anticipated stage maybe just weeks away when it at long last. Starts Buddy predicts crypto resource costs will run up so enormously and unexpectedly that it will be exceedingly difficult to stay aware of all that is occurring. Buddy is foreseeing that the by and large crypto market cap will no less than fourfold before the cycle closes in 2025, going from the current $2.7 trillion to $1 to $5 trillion after we hit the banana zone as we bring you cuts from Raul Buddy's video, kindly get some margin to like this video buy into the feed, and turn on post notices for additional recordings like this, you can likewise join the discussion by dropping your remarks and perceptions in the remarks segment underneath all that you do assists with the YouTube calculation and massively adds to the channel's development. Thanks and partake in the video. Pretty common around the all-time highs that, you know, people take some chips off the table. We're seeing long-term wallet addresses taking some chips off the table. It's pretty common yeah. ahead of the halving. Then it normally goes into what I refer to as the banana zone. And that's when you get the real <laughs> price action. So the real price action hasn't happened yet. No right. banana this is zone? When, We're pre-banana zone? Aren't you, when when, when does it start? When? <laughs> well, it's either, I mean, look, we're wedging into a, it's a wedge right now, right? That'll be the last chance saloon. Mini so wedge, whether that, mini wedge. A mini wedge, but that's it. That's all you're gonna get. And after that becomes unbuyable, and it, how long does that wedge take to complete? Does it complete this week? Does it complete in two weeks' time? Doesn't really matter. Okay, so this tell me what we're seeing. Cycle. This is the banana zone. So what happens at about this point in time, what we call crypto summer, we have this little shuffle around the all-time highs, and then everything just goes bananas. So I don't care whether this is tomorrow or in a month's time, because to Phil's point, the number about to go up uh, and don't overcomplicate it. Everyone will overcomplicate this. They'll be looking at weekly charts, daily charts, hourly charts, you know, tick chart. Just forget it. You've, you should have a year plus to make a, a lot of money. This, this, this crypto market is the biggest gift retail investors have ever been given. The outline Buddy alludes to was shared by Jan Timmer, the head of large scale at Constancy Speculations last November in a string posted via web-based entertainment stage. X Timmer shared three significant graphs to in the most natural sounding way for him put Bitcoin's unpredictability in context. The main diagram is a gamble reward graph for the pandemic post pandemic period somewhere in the range of 2020 and 2023. It shows the gamble versus reward proportion for a few resource classes and elective resource classes, including gold money depository expansion, safeguarded protections, tips, USD. Worldwide and US 6040 in the S&P, the SP file stands out. However, it turns out to be promptly irrelevant when Bitcoin is added to the packet as something else entirely of its own in his post. Timmer likewise shared a crazy correlation showing the drawdowns of resources from a two-year high in the 
Increases from a two-year high, the drawdowns on the left, and the additions in green on the right, just Bitcoin had a 54% drawdown, yet no other resource had more than 80% gains either in his meeting buddy talks further about the crazy open-door crypto present, and the banana zone here are additional. Clasps from the video. SM has gone above 50. It's the business cycle. So technology and crypto are driven by liquidity cycles, real assets, value stocks, commodities. They're all just the business cycle. And the business cycle is going up now. So these things have been playing catch up. They were dogs. Now, as the economy um, starts re-strengthening, these will do well. And so everyone got left behind because they didn't do anything last year. And now they should do really well. And they should do really well in macro summer, macro fall. So they should just keep doing well over time. They'll have periods where they'll outperform what tech did because tech, you know, went off to the races to start with. So I think it's very consistent. And bond deals are just a function of that too. If the economy's strengthening, then bond yields tend to rise somewhat. Um, but the Fed can't let them arise too much because the Treasury needs to refinance all its debts. And we've got this massive debt payments coming up. So I have an issue with that. I don't think it makes much of a difference at this point. You know, when the business cycle picks up, yields always rise. It's the economy, stupid. They always the same with commodities. Commodities lead the inflation cycle, but 63% of all inflation is the super lagged owner's equivalent rents and wages. Those things lag. Right, that's got trillions and trillions of debt to refi. Oh, maybe. Four, but well, we're four seeing years it. ago, four years ago, we were all locked up at home, and I was doing panic with friends with Howard. <laughs> right, and we had the record amount of stimulus and government spending the world had ever seen. All of those interest payments are due. So, of course, the bond market's going to dislocate because you've got ridiculous supply. I mean, stupid supply. But it's, and it's, really, it's really important to understand that memes rule the world. Religion is nothing more than a meme. Everything is memes. That's how humans communicate with each other. All value is memes. Gold is a meme. Everything is a meme. Um, okay, so that's fine. But let me give you a number that I think people need to understand. Americans spent $110 billion on lottery tickets last year. There's a one in 300 million probability of getting the payout of a small payout, of le smaller payout of let's say a million bucks. It's probably one in 20 million. But if you go to the mean coin casino in a trending market, you will, your probability is probably 20x better. So if you are a 25 year old, you have no chance of buying a house. The S&P is too goddamn expensive for you to buy it. You can't have, Here's your opportunity. You can make 100x, 1,000x, 10,000x. We've seen them all in the last two months. And so, of course, it's going to attract people, and it's rational behavior because they don't have a way out. So even, Phil, your example of Bitcoin going from 60,000 to a million, that's a 14x. That's not going to move the dial for somebody with five grand. The foundation has been laid for the digital currency industry to proceed to proceed to develop and foster in the next few months long stretches of time. However, the cherry on top, as per Buddy, is the way that we are going into a huge large-scale summer during which there will be a hazardous expansion in. Worldwide cash supply as national banks scramble to save their different economies from complete breakdown. It takes no virtuoso to sort everything out. Unstable cash supply development, different mechanical stages arising and growing together at a similarly dangerous speed and at the focal point. All things considered, the digital currency industry cryptographic forms of money are without a doubt the quickest horse in the race a reality which the business has demonstrated again and again 400 million clients in record time quicker than any past innovation's reception speed. Bitcoin, the main crypto resource, is as of now a Uber cap resource in only 15 years right now Bitcoin is effectively unparalleled organizations like Berkshire Hathaway and Meta in market capitalization. This is regardless of the multitude of negative missions against the business particularly in the us, they keep on attempting to put the business down, yet it has endured each assault, and just gotten more grounded this in itself is sufficient motivation to be extremely bullish about the following crypto and full-scale cycle. What do you honestly think about Raul Buddy's standpoint for crypto tech? Stocks in full-scale in 2024 and 2025, if it's not too much trouble. Drop your remarks as well as your expectations for your most loved crypto resources in the remarks segment underneath. Additionally, guarantee you like this video, buy into the feed, and turn on post notices for additional recordings like this gratitude for observing.